Hello friends, welcome to Tech with Viresh. In the continuation to our series on Apache Spark Deep Dive, today uh, I've got an interesting topic on how to find out what are the different number of partitions you have in a given RDD or data frame. So let's look out how we can find out what are the number of different partitions. So guys, let's start. So many a times, you know, for tuning or doing different sort of troubleshooting uh, to find out what is the actual performance hit or performance is not good. You may need to find out uh, what is the number of underlying partitions in that particular data frame and RDD you are working with. So there are a couple of uh, ways how you can find out this information. So let's see all the ways we can do that. Uh, the easiest way is you can find out it through this Spark UI. So you can look at the, the task execution and find out what are the different number of partitions. Uh, let's see how we can do that. Uh, for an example, I've created this small uh, data frame. If you see it out here, a small data frame with the values 1 to 100 and I've given the explicit partitioning partition number as 4. Right, so this is I just did a small map and collect to view this uh, RAD. So it's a collection of numbers from 1 to 100, and the partitions are 4. When I'll do this, when I'll call this action collect, uh, then this job would be executed. And I can go to Spark UI, click on the sta stages tab, right, and here I'll see this highlighted portion. It shows me what is the total number of tasks. And it shows total number of tasks is four. And we know that in this Spark world, we have one task, one partition. So that means the data set that we have operated upon, RDD or data frame, it has got four partitions. So this is one way to find out uh, what is the number of partitions in the data set you're working upon. Another way is if in case you have cached those particular RDDs and data frame, uh, then also you can see that what is the number of partition in your cached uh, uh, data set. For that, go to the storage tab of the Spark UI. This is the storage tab of the Spark UI and you see what is the number of cached partitions, partitions here. And it also shows us that the number of cached partitions is four. It shows fraction cached is 100%. Like all the partitions are cached. There's no spill if you see this number. Right. It clearly shows that it had four partitions and all the four partitions are cached in the memory. Uh, no spills to the disks as such. Another way is you can we can do it through the uh, program. We can also find out the number of partitions programmatically. So if you see the API that is given to us on RDD is the sum RDD dot partitions dot size. So this will give me the number of partitions on this RDD. Another API given to us is get num partitions. So it will also give us the number of partitions for that RDD and data frame you're working upon. Right. And uh, uh, that's it in this particular video, how you can find out the number of partitions in a given data set you're working in in the Apache Spark. In one of my previous videos, I also uh, given a code snippet that how we can find out the, what is the what is the number of elements in each partition programmatically to check it out again uh, so that's it in this particular videos thanks for watching do like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day ahead bye bye